Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another Kuzuryu. Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryu? That would be because there was it's two Kuzuryu. Because there were two. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? The reason Fuyuhika's last name Kuzuryu appears twice. It's true, I have a hunch, but to call me out like that? Nagato, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. The reason Fuyuhika's last name Kuzuryu appears in twice is probably because he had a little sister. I can prove it with this. It's just a bug. In the game, guy F. It's just a it's just a game mistake. He a hey. He's just like, just right, right, Nagato? Nagato's like <laughs> It's just a theory. <laughs> a game theory. He's just like dot dot dot. He's like, what? what do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. I have a little sister. That bit. <laughs> it's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F has a little let me, sister. Not gonna let me read it. All right, whatever. Plus, the sister actually so like, appeared no. in the game. They're <laughs> like, that's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? The corpse. <laughs> I don't really want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. And Nagito is clearly not going to go easy on me and just, and just, uh, you know, be I the see. one to say it. I have to be a protagonist. I know. The first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. That bitch, girly, was it? What the hell did she do to my little sister? Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? Don't say that with a smile. That's a winning personality you got there. <laughs> winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, Honey. dumbass. <laughs> Honey. Hey. You said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Dead, yes. Correct. Yeah, I have a little sister. <laughs> yeah. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. She's it's dead. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. She's dead. That's dead. Don't go making shit up, bastard. If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It, it happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true Hey, but Monokuma, huh? shut the fuck up, Monokuma. Paul picks up Spear threateningly. Okay, I He's understand like, kill your you. attitude toward this class trial now. Mm -hmm. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy yes. would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good Maybe. enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why. I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay. Why are we opening well, on Fuyuhiko? Again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters hmm. in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl yes, B we went is Yoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the girl game... Girl E is Sato. ...high school girl is Whoever Sato is, sister. but they are deceased. That's just a story mm -hmm. in a fucking game. If so... Did you not read the nonfiction part? Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but... I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name. Since they're both really plain names. Tanaka. Heck is the wild Tanaka connection. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. And he also has a strange rivalry going hey, on. No one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? The mystery my, of the my, game? You don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that 
true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? <laughs> My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it. Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. Revenge. Should be able to assume why based on the contents of the game. I see. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But, but... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E, she, she killed the first victim? You know this. In order to make that clear, you know this. We need to know more about the case you involving dumb bitch. the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Go off, Chiaki. Look, I made yes. the music Queen. room surroundings. <laughs> Since my hero isn't here to draw the map for us. I'm <laughs> all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that Don't later so we can focus on the case! Don't interrupt her. Exactly. Let her speak. Then, <laughs> Nikomaru, let her speak. Hello, her hoodie! <laughs> girl A, girl B. I love girl that jacket. I love that little hat. We're at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. I haven't had to do anything game oriented yet, and it's stressing me out. To the I know. And headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office. And when the five of them were finally able to go inside... You could just say their names. We've already established that we know who they are. found the victim's body. Dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girlie was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did you all Did play the game? The music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. I think so. Which means Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. Damn, but you actually have brains. Girl D was the one who went to the office to oh. get the key to the Proud music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game. We can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? What if this event so was what gave Junko the idea to make killer games? And, and sprinted to the front of the music She's like, oh, classmates killing each other, huh? Arrived. Sounds fun. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then forget this. It's not cute to see an old guy suck. Is girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. Based on the details of the game, game, it's no mistake that girl E, who was waiting in the hallway, is the killer. Then what did girl E do after the killing the girl inside the music room? Guess I need to clear that up first. All right, there we go. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the 
other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's wrong. Okay, I'm glad I waited. Because <laughs> I was really about to shoot something that I shouldn't have. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. Vase? Duh. How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Okay. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. Awful lot of a uh, thought going into an accidental murder. With that key, yeah. she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. Did she really think no one would find the vase? To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. Okay. Uh, I see. Now the mystery has been solved. Wait a minute. The mystery hasn't been solved yet. You also, with that doesn't help with who killed Mahir. Yet. Murder no. weapon. Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was. Not cool. I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end. Yeah, why did you make a video game? You're so annoying. Fine. Let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Yeah, that, you always need Which to means shit. I'll feel disgusting. Bro. <laughs> You're the disgusting one. You know what? Bro. Me too. <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional. The answer was revealed in the game, though. Is that the fish tank? Oh. Uh. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? An unconventional weapon that also range. appeared in the game. If we're told we can't advance as long as we don't make that clear, then I have to do it. I'll do it. What do you think the weapon is? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then. There's something I need to do to tell you about the regarding the white noise and the non-stop the range. Not only the white noise is actually very durable. You won't always destroy them in one shot. <laughs> durable white noise will chip away every time you shoot them with the silencer. But unless you completely destroy them, your time will not be replenished. Why? I know, I know. Useful information. There's a guy named Gun. Dum Tanaka. He's a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Okay, so I have to go to Gundam Tanaka to get that skill? Okay. Yes. Good luck, have fun. That doesn't help me right now! Gundam! Can I borrow your skill? Broken fish tank. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Think you talked her with the fish tank. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. What the? Why are you going even Gundam. bigger? Gundam, please. The investigation Gundam, conducts fuck. universal chaos. <laughs> it's on that big a scale too. I think I missed. How about beating her with gravel instead? If it's a weapon that was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. Fuck. <laughs> okay. This. Damn it. Fucking. Okay, I need to think about this more. I think. Okay, what are the other bullets? The music room, huh? What about broken glass? It has to be the tank. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Yeah, it has to be. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. What? The, what am I missing? All right, Mahi ran to the bathroom, so I, I, I know I know what I need to do now. Oh, I ran out of time. There's only one second left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I effed up. I know. 
I didn't do it. This is my Yeah, let's try again. Okay, I figured I figured out what it was. I don't I don't get the reason I couldn't figure it out is because I didn't understand. Uh, and I still don't, but I know what the answer is. A weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death thing she attacked her with the fish? That's too big to be in the piano. Why are you going even investigation? It's on that biggest. How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. I got it. killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. I got him out here. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> just as I, I, I had to fail. I had to fail to get it, though, because I only had a second left. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bat. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bat and stuff it full of gravel, it would make an effective weapon. Which means this mur wasn't an accidental murder. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney yes. would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! Welcome back, by the way. Killer. It's an idea that kills yes, two birds with one I, stone. I'm still preparing my water. <laughs> killer is some pervert. It makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it has to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. All right, but the real important talk begins now, which is Curly reality. Had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. <laughs> and I, I didn't the even get a chance to do a voice. Murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it, and they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I somewhat understand that feeling. Oh, yeah? You can? That's pretty scary. What? The girl is also <laughs> Be killed chill out. on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Girl E's killer. Right now, the only person I can think of is that guy. I see. You know, the guy with the guy in his name. Been. Guy F. Fuhiko. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. That's spicy. But, but Guy F is. What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth. It'd be a huge problem for you. Cause you know, you kill the man. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Cause their school memories were like, totally stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Sorry? <laughs> Angie. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. 
Mahi, is my stream glitching on your end? Do you I do you have Twitch on your phone? No, the game and Mahiru's death are probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point with Gurley and Mahiru's murder. Uh, I don't think it's... I mean, a little bit. It's a little laggy. But it Crap. looks fine. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's something similar. Other, it's either the bat or like, yeah, it's probably the bat. It's probably a bat. I can prove it with this. It's the same thing that I did. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game. We're both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? I think it's just Josh is streaming in the other room. God damn it. I'm gonna try unplugging my camera and seeing if that helps at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't want my stream to be laggy when I have to do the VOD. You better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like okay. that, we're just going to go around in circles. And it's true for you. I just realized the X is a fork and knife. Don't you think? On a Terra Terra. What did you- I mean... There's a possibility Wait, really? that it's a trap set by the true killer. Yeah. It's a trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge oh, to try to set up for you, Hiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game? Ugh, my stream is still laggy. This is a problem. Hiko, 